Hey guys, thank you for watching. My name is Ashley with AB Designs in Largo, Florida. I'm going to show you how we have mastered the Tacket method. This is the Tacket Over and Over Repositional Adhesive. It's a glue. It is Aileen's. I'm pretty sure you've seen this bottle before. You can buy it at Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Walmart, um, wherever you can find it. And then this is the Holographic Fine Glitter from AB Designs. It's called 24 Karat Gold. It's a nice beautiful color. It's a beautiful gold shade that's going to cover this cup perfectly. I have um, my glue already um, diluted with a little bit of water. I just keep it in these squirt bottles. These are from Dollar Tree so that it's already done and ready to go for me. So all I'm going to do is put this mixture all over the cup. However, you see fit. I'm using the Mermaid Tacket Brush from AB Designs Co. It is um, a less expensive alternative to the Mod Podge brush, which is also amazing, but it's $2.50 versus $8. And also, I forget to clean my brushes all the time, leave glue in them, leave whatever, and it, <laughs> you know how it goes. So uh, I like having a less expensive alternative also, to base the cups, I used the Gold Metallic from Rustoleum spray paint. That was Trina waving. She was saying hi. So all we're going to do is just keep covering this cup, get it nice and smooth. You don't want any streaks, which is why you're using this, you know, really fine, tightly compacted brush. Um, you'll see kind of around the cup, it has a couple holes, You'll, I mean, up at there at the top, you can kind of see, and all we're going to do is keep going over and over and over. It's just a really high shine metallic spray paint, so things are going to repel off of it instead of adhere. And so as the tacket mixture is drying, it'll become a little sticky, a little you know, it'll, it'll start to dry. So then you can layer your tacket mixture on top of it. And it, it, it was fine. It worked out beautifully for this, but you know, it's a little bit of a process to keep covering and covering and covering. And then, um, once it dries completely clear, then you can go ahead and move to the next step. But as you can see, you maybe some bubbles here and there. And as soon as it starts to become tacky a little bit. You can go ahead and cover it and then your cup is completely covered in the mixture. And then this cup over here that I have up at the um, kind of the corner of the screen, that's just another cup. I'm going to go ahead and tack it at the same time. It's the same color. And I was just throwing some of the excess on the, on that cup just to, so I didn't waste anything. You want to make sure you get your edges really well and keep going and going. And then once you feel like you've got a good coat, make sure you get your rim, the bottom, all the edges on the cup, then you can set it aside. All right, so now I'm gonna grab this 20 ounce Modern Curve. This is also from AB Designs. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing we did on the other cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward a little bit so we can zip through this and we'll be right back. So all I want you to see here is how completely dry the wine glass is. See how clear that's getting? All those white streaks you want completely gone before you move on to your next coat of tacket. So we're going to let those dry until we move on to the next step. And now we let that sit until it's completely clear. You can see the 20 ounce in the background. That is, you cannot see any white on it. That's exactly what we want to 
um, want to achieve. So we're going to do the same thing we did on the first go around with our tacket on our wine glass and again on our 20 ounce just because we're doing two cups back to back. So we're going to go ahead and get both of those covered with their second coat of tacket. Now for the fun part. This is AB Designs 24 karat gold. It's a holographic fine glitter. We're going to cover this entire cup. I have my Dollar Tree tin and my parchment paper ready to catch all the excess. When you're doing the tacket method, what you're trying to achieve is that holographic ultra ultra shine, that gorgeous color that picks up all the colors of the rainbow kind of like my nail is right there <laughs> um, and what you're doing is taking that cut of glitter whatever size it might be this one is a one in um, oh gosh one in 132 maybe I can, now I can't even think you're taking that ultra tiny piece of glitter and laying it completely flat so that when it hits the light it's picking up all the colors of the rainbow those prisms that are in those beautiful glitters. So when you're doing the varnishing method, you are taking all the excess glitter, it's coming off, and you are then allowing that bottom layer of glitter to shine through and just, I mean, the, you can record them and take pictures of them, but seeing these in person, there's nothing like it. They're just the most beautiful, beautiful cups. And also it keeps your cup nice and thin. Who likes a big, fat, bubbly, you know, glitter that like when you do a chunky cup, I, I know there are ways to make it less chunky, but ultimately you're going to have a thicker cup because chunky glitter you ha would have to add more epoxy to make it to cover it fully. Well, the tacket you're left with such a thin cup. It's, it's, it's such a nice method. It gives you that pop, that color, you know, it's gorgeous. But then also another benefit is it isn't a heavy, heavy cup because you don't have to use so much epoxy to fill it. So I'm just going to take my glitter that is reusable and put it in that bottle. Um, and then when we're varnishing it off right here, you can already start to see how gorgeous it shines up. Now this glitter down here is tainted, so I won't use it again. Um, I'm not sure if it really is tainted or if that's just what people say. It is darker in color if you were to hold it up next to the other glitter that was dumped out. And it's just tainted with the tacket. So I just always dump this glitter <coughs> in the garbage. <laughs> so here is the next cup we're going to do. You saw that first one. I mean, all you're doing is rubbing off the excess and you get that absolutely amazing shine. I mean, it, you can see those cups right there next to each other. The shine that comes through when you do, when you, the varnish process is, oh, it's unbelievable. It's absolutely beautiful. And then as you're doing it and the more cups that you do and try and practice the tacket method, you will develop your own pressure and what you think is right. If you push too hard, you're going to rub your cup bald and you'll see, you know, in a close up um, or in person, you would see that you're rubbing it too hard. You just want it enough to get the excess off and the other bottom portion will stay adhered to the glue. But I'm just going around the entire cup and brushing off all that excess uh, people use makeup brushes or just a craft brush. I just don't find that to be like enough. I don't think it, 
gets it enough and you also can't feel when the glitter's off. When you're running your hand over this entire cup, you'll see all the glitter and you'll be able to feel once it's perfectly smooth and that's how I know I'm done rubbing everything off. And then also I wanna point out the glue, if it's not completely dried, you'll, and, and then you go to put your glitter on and then you go to take it off. You might have little bald spots here and there because you just didn't wait long enough or you rubbed too hard, whatever the case may be. And the edges are always the hardest. So right there, I don't know if you can even tell, but right there, there's a tiny spot a tiny, tiny spot that didn't get covered and you can go back in with Tacket and cover that spot. Or like these cups actually are for a peekaboo and that's not gonna matter to me at all. There's always a way to save your cup. There's always something you can add to it. I mean, I have stripped many cups in my day, but if you can try to save it, just look at that shine though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what you're going to be left with. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you had trouble with Tacket, maybe there were some tips in there. And if you're a newbie, definitely don't be afraid to give this a shot. It's a fun, fun method.